Hey, what's up? Max Studio A here. In this episode, how to clean and install macOS Ventura on your Apple Silicon Mac. Warning, before starting, make sure you've made a backup of your Mac using, for example, Apple Time Machine. What you'll need. 1. A macOS Ventura USB boot disk 2. An internet connection either via Wi-Fi or Ethernet cable and 3. An Apple Silicon Mac In my case I'll be using a Mac Studio All links for creating a Time Machine backup and USB boot disk for macOS Ventura are included in the description below Onwards with the demo So let's get started With your Mac turned off Insert your macOS Ventura USB boot disk in an available USB socket. Now, turn on your Mac and continue to press and hold the power button until you see the startup options gear icon. Next, click on the macOS Ventura icon. With the macOS Ventura install window shown, click on the menu bar and under the install macOS Ventura option, click on quit install macOS. Confirm by clicking on the quit button shown here. You'll then be brought to the macOS recovery mode screen. Now, select disk utility option and click the continue button. From the menu bar, click on view and select show all devices. Next, click on the container disk for macOS HD as shown. Now click on the erase icon shown here then on the erase button. Next click on the erase Mac button. Confirm by clicking on the erase Mac and restart button. After the erase and restart as completed your Mac will begin the process to activate your Mac via your internet connection. Now click on the exit to recovery button. Important! On the recovery window you will notice the reinstall macOS Ventura or Monterey option. Do not click on that. Instead, click on the Apple logo shown here to shut down your Mac. Once your Mac is shut down and as was done before, turn on your Mac and continue to press and hold the power button until you see the startup options gear icon. Now click on the install macOS Ventura icon and after selecting your language of choice, click on the arrow button where you'll be brought to the macOS Ventura setup. Click on the continue button and then on the agree button and confirm. Click the Macintosh HD icon and then the continue button. The clean install of macOS Ventura process will now begin. Don't pay too much attention at the minutes remaining. It actually took about 10 minutes to complete. I'll just time lapse it from here. In my case, the total time taken from start to finish to do a clean install of macOS Ventura took approximately 15 minutes to complete. Now, if you're planning to transfer, trade or sell your Mac, press Command Q from your keyboard to shut down your Mac. Otherwise, click the continue button to enter your details. And that's all there is to it. Done like dinner. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this episode. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of the next upcoming episode. Peace.